ladies and gentlemen, to Coastal and Seabird Week here at Seven Vlogs. Today, we're going to be looking at the herring gull. So, basically, we're going to challenge the seagull stereotype and shed light on the exceptional herring gull. Contrary to popular belief, seagull is actually an umbrella term used to describe various gull species found near the coast. Each species has its own unique characteristics and behaviours. So today, we're going to focus on the herring gull. So, if you ever visited the seaside round here, places like Western Supermare, down in Devon, Cornwall, etc., you would have encountered the herring gull. These majestic birds are part of a diverse family of gulls that inhabit coastal regions. Also, you'll find species such as the black-headed gull, the lesser black-backed gull, and the common gull. So when visiting the beach, chances are you've encountered herring gulls, buying up your fish and chips. These opportunistic hunters have developed a knack for snatching food from unwary beachgoers. Their keen eyesight and swift aerial manoeuvres make them expert food thieves. While their scavenging behaviour may seem cheeky to some, it is important to remember that herring gulls have adapted to exploit various food sources in their environment. Their ability to take advantage of human activities such as fishing and picnicking is testament to their resourcefulness and adaptability in securing a meal. Beyond their reputation as chip thieves, herring gulls possess remarkable characteristics that make them truly fascinating creatures. With their striking white and grey plumage, yellow beaks and piercing eyes, they command attention along the coastlines they call home. These magnificent birds are known for their impressive wingspan, spanning up to four feet, allowing them to effortlessly glide through the air and navigate through the coastal winds. They are highly adaptable, making them successful colonisers of coastal regions worldwide. Their diverse diet ranges from fish, crustaceans and mollusks to small mammals, insects and even carrion. But their scavenger behaviour helps keep beaches and uh, and coastal ecosystems clean by consuming decaying matter. They are nature's true dustbins that clean up the coastal environment. Nesting colony, colon, uh, nesting colonies, I should say, of herring gulls can be found on coastal cliffs, islands, and even rooftops, where they establish their territories and raise their young. Their distinctive call, often associated with the soundscape of the seaside, carries far across beaches as a reminder of their presence. However, herring gulls exhibit interesting nesting habits, often choosing elevated locations such as coastal cliffs, islands and rooftops for their breeding colonies. This adaptation to urban environments has led to some challenges for both the gulls and humans. In certain areas, gulls nesting on rooftops can cause disturbances and concerns due to noise, droppings and potential damage. To address these issues, some management techniques have been implemented such as the removal of eggs from rooftops to discourage nesting. These measures aim to strike a balance between conserving the species and mitigating the impact on human structures. Efforts are made to relocate the gull nest to suitable alternative sites, ensuring the well-being of these animals while minimising potential conflicts. So, how many eggs does a herring gull typically lay? Well, they lay between two to four eggs in a single breeding season. However, the average clutch size is typically three. The female incubates the eggs for about 25 to 28 days, uh, with both parents participating in caring for the hatchlings. They will stay in the nest for several weeks, then develop their feathers and gain strength before they're ready to fledge and explore their surroundings. Despite their adaptive nature, herring gulls face ver various challenges in today's ch uh, changing world. Habitat loss, disturbance and pollution all pose threats to their populations. Management techniques also including removal of eggs from rooftops, like I just said, is essential that we appreciate and protect all birds that live on the coastline. Herring gulls serve as important indicator species for coastal ecosystem health. So their presence in population tends to provide an insight into the overall condition of coastal environments, including the availability of food sources, pollution levels, and the impact of human activities. So by monitoring them, they can help we can help scientists and conservationists assess the well-being of coastal ecosystems.
So join us in rethinking the seagull stereotype as we celebrate the remarkable heron gull. It is a coastal icon. So don't forget to unleash your inner explorer, join the herd, hit that subscribe button. My name is Ben James, I'll see you in the next